Understanding self, healing, loving self. It's all just one big old journey that we did not ask for. So, God is funny. I ain't mad at her, but she funny. Mm -hmm. Push P. Yeah, push P. Turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Corners in the paddock in my piece. Oh, push a piece. Uh, cop new hammers for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot. Go catch up. But I wanna let y'all know that your girl is a little Kendra who gonna listen. And I say that because somebody commented underneath my last vlog and was like, we love your raw content. And they had like suggested doing like home decor videos, organization videos, um, going out to dinner in the city videos, um, hair videos, things of that nature. And I was like, <sighs> Your girl wants something. I'm all here for constructive criticism. You know, I took that as if, like, my Kendrick just want to see, you know what I'm saying, a fellow Kendrick flourish. So I was like, you know what? I like that. I'm going to listen. You know what I'm saying? Because I did say that I wanted to get more into, like, playing content um, and that I don't really do playing content because I'm not good at it. But I feel like if I just sit down and take the time and really just, like, plan out the type of content that I want to produce for my Kendricks, then I feel like I will, like, flourish and do very well on this platform so yeah that's what we're gonna do but today is not planned necessarily because i'm literally just going with the flow but i did want to take some of that advice i'm gonna go outside and um run some errands actually and i'm gonna take you guys with me i have my little black book i already wrote down everything that i need um to get while i'm outside and um um anyways uh <laughs> So yeah, I did write down everything that I need to get while I'm outside in my little black book using my nice special pen. Y'all you know saying this book goes with me everywhere. Um, but first and foremost, I have to go to the art store and get some supplies for some pro for um, two projects that I have to do for school because that stuff is actually due tomorrow. <laughs> that stuff is actually due tomorrow, y'all. I've been procrastinating on my schoolwork and that is just like unacceptable. But we're gonna get her done. We gonna get her done. I was debating whether or not I wanted to take Nala with me, but I feel like she gonna be in the way. She heard me say her name. I need to make her a grooming appointment because my baby need a haircut. Right now she like a little gremlin. She smells good though. That smell good. I smell good. Um. So yeah, that's what we about to do. <sighs> Let go. And if you have me. I can provide everything you desire If you get a feeling, oh the feeling that I'm feeling Won't you come closer to me Hi. Hey, how's it going? It's going. 
I'm, I passed it, didn't I? Have you made your order yet? No. Can you drop through one more time? It's raining and we're just slammed. That's kind of interrupting the process. Thanks. Thank you very much. Fucking bitch. Can I drive through one more time and you're fucking slammed? What the fuck? What a waste of my fucking time. That's so annoying. Actually, I'm going inside. I'm not doing this. Have y'all ever done that before? I've literally just broke past the damn order sign. Even when I'm not on my camera, I do that. I don't know, what the fuck? Ugh, so annoying. So it's 12.63. Thank you. I can't believe I literally just like broke past the ordering booth <laughs> and pulled up to the window like am I too late? <laughs> so Mm. I literally just went inside to order my food so I did not feel like sitting in that line again. Uh, it's an impossible breakfast now. It's so good. Mm. Hi! Yes, actually. Okay, it's just granite paper, grayscale markers, watercolor paint, and drafting dots. All right, we have some of that. Okay. Um, graphite paper. Oh, graphite paper. Yeah, that's yeah. gonna be over here. Okay. I appreciate it. No problem. You made my life so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you're a student, right? Can yes. I have your ID? It's in the car, but it's All right, bad. I'll go ahead and give it to you since I do remember. Thank Just you. Just always be sure to bring it in because not you. everybody's going to remember. Thank you. That'll be forty-seven seventy. Go oh, wait, ahead. You need to be getting your stuff together. Get I got to One more time. Okay. All right. Would you like a small bag? Yes, please. Thank you. Scoop pies are freaking expensive. So imagine, imagine having to spend like fifty. That was luckily only 40 something dollars. That's because I got most of the stuff that I need at home already. But the last two times I came here, I had to spend six some dollars. And then the first time I came in here, I think I spent like a hundred something dollars on supplies for these damn drawing and design classes. My God, expensive. I better get a good grade. I got a doctor's appointment with a surgeon tomorrow. I'm so excited to go to because it's so uncomfortable still for me to eat. It even is not fun for me. So I'm so excited to see what they're gonna do about my damn mouth.
a brand new day. I am about to actually walk into Grady's Hospital right now because I have an appointment scheduled at two. But I'm so excited because I waited like a month and a half for this damn appointment. Let's figure out what the hell wrong with your kindred's face, okay? Um, I'm now at the gas station getting some gas. Um, I just left. The hospital and um they almost tried to give me the same runaround but they're gonna schedule another ct scan in like two weeks and then i'm gonna follow up with them in about a month so like in about a month <laughs> and he said that the doctor said that he's leaning more towards um taking the plate out like removing the plate and like redoing it i guess which is going to start the healing process all over again. Which is going to be fun. Um, and it sucks because it's about to be summertime. If they would have just listened to me months ago, we would have started the healing process again months ago. And we, y'all wouldn't be messing up my birthday. Y'all haven't had a calypso in so long, but these things are like crap. Hmm. Look, you got to be very cautious and aware of your surroundings when you're sitting at the gas station make sure you lock your doors and wait in your car just in case you gotta pull the fuck off are you back oh yeah take my key So you gotta do all that. As soon as you get in, lock your door too. Even if you got to pull off. Lock your doors. I'm about to head home now and record this video and finish my projects that I didn't finish last night. <laughs> Fun day. I just got home. No, I'm lying. I got home maybe like three hours ago. But um, I've been just like on my phone slash computer slash snapping for like the past three hours. So I literally just swapped out my hair. Y'all see the quick switch up. Um, I'm letting the curls sit before I comb it out. So now I'm about to go ahead and do my makeup because I have another video that I'm about to record for you guys. So I'm about to do a quick little transformation. Okay, I just got finished doing my hair and makeup, but I got super nervous when I started recording the video and my stomach was hurting and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm ready to do this, but I feel like it makes sense for the type of video it is. So I'm just gonna, even though it's like 8.44, almost nine o'clock at night, I'm going to run out to this sushi spot. It's like a small sushi spot um, up the street from my house. And I'm just gonna order me some food because I, I haven't eaten all day actually. So I'm gonna order me some food, which reminds me I need to take some toothpicks because like stuff be getting like stuck in my tooth. But anyways, I'm gonna order me some food, have a drink, get my thoughts together, organize my thoughts, write everything down, timeline, etc., etc., and come back and record the video and torture myself by rewatching it and editing it and sending it to the brand so they can approve it. And then I also have to be Picasso tonight because my project is due tomorrow. <laughs> it's like really, really, really due tomorrow. Like now I, like, I have no choice. So yeah, I'm about to do that right now. And I'm gonna take y'all with me because y'all wanna see more dining out in the city type Bob. So let's go.
Okay, so I just made it back home. And I like went to eat to collect my thoughts and to get like my emotions together and stuff. Um, and I came back home thinking I was ready to record this video. <laughs> and I'm not, my nerves are still like fighting each other. Like my stomach feel like it's about to crawl out of my vagina. Like I feel like I'm so not ready. And maybe that's why I should record the video. I don't know, I'm trying to make it all make sense. I feel like everything happens for a reason. Opportunities present itself when needed. So I'm just trying to figure out like how to make this all make sense for me so that way I can relay the message to my kindreds. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, Nala, please, not right now. Leave me alone, no, go. Go. Yeah, I'm just feeling very like confused. I have like mixed emotions and mixed feelings about just like everything. I don't know. So um yeah, I haven't started therapy yet. I know I noted like in my last vlog that I wanted to start therapy and counseling and stuff because I feel like it's very much needed and I need to stop prolonging um that I need to stop prolonging that. I need to stop I need to make my mental health a priority. <laughs> and even saying that was very exhausting for me because it's like, what do I mean? Like, what do I mean? But um, yeah, it's just something that I have to like, put my big girl panties on and attack. So yeah, but like I said, I haven't started therapy yet, so please don't judge me, but I'm about to crack open the champagne bottle and you know, maybe, and, and kind of like wind down, maybe sort of kind of, I don't know, maybe that'll help me like get into a space where I feel like even more vulnerable to share like certain things. Um, and I, and I, I mean, I could totally do a different type of like content for, this um sponsorship i really could but it's like something's calling me like i just know that i feel like even though i don't 100 feel like it's the right time i feel like it's the right time because i know someone or people out there needs to I don't know guys, I'm like, obviously in a limbo right now, I don't know. But, your girl, actually, I don't have to crack this open because, um, yeah, I'm gonna actually save this for story time. I have like a really good story time. I have like a few good story times for you guys that I think that you guys will enjoy and be like, girl, what? Ooh, ah, ooh. So, <laughs> So I think I'm gonna save this to like one of our like intimate kindred girls nights where we're like having story time. So I'm actually gonna save this and just finish that bottle of wine that I had last night that I never finished for dinner. Well, okay, maybe look, everything, everything happens for a reason. Everything is a sign, okay? <laughs> So there's only a little bit left in here, so maybe that's all I need because I did have two drinks while I was out um, eating dinner. So I think that might be what I, all that I need to be productive tonight because not only do I have to create this video, I also have to um, finish my um, drawing assignment, which I'm just like, I don't know. So last night I had Chardonnay. It is the um, Vintners Reserve Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. And I think that this is one of the best Chardonnays that I've tasted. And I say that because I like the notes and flavor that I tasted on my buds, <laughs> that I tasted on my buds. 
So it had like a very fruity, pineapple-y, peachy type of like um, flavor. It's not super dry and um, oaky. It's not that type of Chardonnay. It's more so on the fruity side of Chardonnay. It's not sweet, but it's not like dry and oaky, if that makes sense. It's like the perfect combination, I think. And it's called, um, it's the brand is Kendall Jackson and it's Vineyards Reserve Chardonnay. I hope it focuses for you guys to see. If not, I'll just like put the information like right here. But yeah, that's that. So this is what we're having to um, cap off our evening. And we're going to sit down in front of the camera and be vulnerable, okay? And I feel like, I feel like that, you know, when you shed light on something, then that's when you can truly set yourself free. Which is why a few months ago, I decided to just tell the world what I was dealing with because ultimately I knew, especially in that moment, that this was unacceptable. And that in order for me to break myself free from this cycle, I had to shed light on the issue. And I feel like in order for me to get to the next step of my healing process and my healing journey and my love journey, I need to just let it loose and talk about it. Seek therapy and move the fuck on because I'm tired of crying in front of y'all. <laughs> um, but I can't fake it. I'm not gonna fake it till I make it. Um, this is obviously my true feelings. And um, yeah. Say my name, say my name. And no one is around you. Say baby, I love you if you ain't run game. Say my name. Say my name, you acting kind of shady Baby, what a sudden change Say my name, say my name, say my name Say my name, say my name, if no one is around you Look, I know girls love Beyonce Girls love to fuck with your conscience Girls hate when niggas go missing And baby, I ain't no different These days it's hard to be men Feel like my love life is finished I've been avoiding commitment That's why I'm in this position I'm scared to let somebody in on this No new friends, no, no, no You know how this shit go You got your fair share of admirers that call your phone You try to act like it's just me But I am not alone But if you're alone then Say my name, say my name If no one is around you Say baby, I love you If you ain't running gay Say my name Say my name You're acting kind of shady creating this video because um, I'm like super nervous and my dog's over there eating her food and making all of this noise and all of this noise outside. I just feel like my anxiety is on 10 right now. Okay, we gotta start over. Let's bring it back, let's start.
writing can be extremely therapeutic for some, you know, writing down, um, having these journal entries every day, visiting them every so often, you know. But for me, blogging and editing is 10 times more therapeutic. I don't know if I'm using the right word for me because I get to sit down and create my own atmosphere like this. A lot of times when I edit, I like to just sit. <laughs> I like to sit in the dark <laughs> or natural lighting, but I like to sit in the dark and I turn on my classical music, my piano music or whatever, and I sit down and I just edit. And um, for me, I've never seen myself from the outside um, when I'm experiencing moments like that. Um, and so like I've never personally understood like how, why, like what's, ha I, I don't understand like what's happening in moments like that. I know a few years ago I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety, but even then no one really sat down and, and explained to me like what that is, how to manage it, you know, things of that nature. Like I've never had that. And for me to actually be able to see that and revisit and see that was like, damn Najee, like I felt, that's just so heartbreaking and I don't want to ever be in that space again. So I'm just, I am, especially after seeing that, I am taking accountability for myself and I'm going to ensure that I'm gonna do anything underneath the sun to ensure that Najee has Najee. I don't even know if I'm like verbally expressing myself correctly, but yeah, it's wow. So like, okay, first step for me, okay, what is anxiety disorder, right? I literally just pulled it up right now. I never really took the time to just like pull up a, what is anxiety disorder, like what is that? And it says anxiety disorder involves repeated episodes of sudden feelings of intense anxiety and fear or terror that reaches a peak within minutes, which is also known as a panic attack. Okay, Najee, you're having panic attacks. These, these, in these moments, you're having these constant like panic attacks, okay? Now for me, my next step is figuring out what triggers these like what 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 are my triggers? Like what what triggered? Like I don't know. I want to figure out like why this is happening. Like I don't know. And I want to figure out like how can I stop it? <laughs> like how can we stop it? I don't know. Without taking like medication and stuff like that because who wants to do that? But mm, But I, I definitely needed to see that. I definitely needed to, to, I definitely needed to see that. I don't know if one of you guys needed to see it, to, maybe it's helping trigger, I don't know. I know that I needed to see that, so I can just only imagine that, I, I can only imagine someone else like kind of going through the motions or like maybe questioning themselves or confused or, not really understanding what, or thinking that something's wrong. Like, I don't know. I'm choosing to put it in the vlog because it did something to me. It's making me like, okay, Najee, you know, let's take control, let's take back your life, you know? So I can just imagine it somehow touching or helping one of my kindreds, so. Yeah, this is a journey. This this is a, a journey. Understanding self, healing, loving self. It's all just one big old journey that we did not ask for. So, God is funny. I ain't mad at her, but she funny. Mm-hmm. Push P.
Yeah, corners in the paddock in my piece. A push a piece.